Dr. Havis, considered to be one of the world experts on electromagnetic radiation. I'm a scientist and I'm a professor at Trent University. I'm an environmental toxicologist. What turned you on to EMF in the first place? I heard about childhood leukemia. Children who lived near power lines had a greater risk of developing this form of cancer. I thought, well, maybe I could introduce this into the course, because in this course we were looking at things like lead pollution, DDT, PCBs, uh, arsenic, um, um, acid rain, all sorts of different types of chemical contaminants. And I wanted to introduce electromagnetic fields. And that's really how I got into it, uh, wanting to learn it sufficiently so that I could teach my students. Rapid aging syndrome. Mm -hmm. Would you like to describe a little bit to our audience what that's about? Sure, I'd be happy to. Some people have developed a sensitivity to electromagnetic fields in their environment. Um, they've been exposed so much or they've had some other condition that predisposes them to the sensitivity. And if you look at the symptoms, a very large percentage of those symptoms are the symptoms that we develop as we're aging. And this includes difficulty sleeping, uh, chronic fatigue, chronic pain, difficulty with uh, short-term memory, uh, concentration problems, mood disorders, either um, increase in, in depressive symptoms or um, high levels of anxiety. So there's a lot of different symptoms that, that tend to be um, more common among elderly. Instead of calling it electro-hypersensitivity, which is the, the way that most scientists refer to it, I thought a more descriptive term was rapid aging syndrome. Because I think that what is happening to us um, is that if we develop the sensitivity, our bodies are under stress. They're unable to recover during the night when you know, these levels of electromagnetic radiation are present in the bedrooms in most, most homes in North America. So people aren't able to recover and basically their body is degenerating and, and that to me is an aging process, but it's happening much more quickly than it would uh, under normal circumstances.